Hi everyone, it's Elle. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you a Jane Austen heroine inspired hair tutorial. So the look that I'm going to do is also a look that I wore a couple of days ago and when I published it on my personal social media I said to my friends would you like me to do a hair tutorial on how I did it and I basically got a very enthusiastic yes. So to do this look you are going to need a comb, a hairbrush, quite a number of hair ties and I would recommend you're going to need probably need a lot of hairpins depending on how long your hair is. So this isn't inspired by any kind of Jane Austen heroine in particular though when I wore it a couple of days ago I kind of felt a bit like Emma Woodhouse from Emma and Elizabeth Bennet from Pride and Prejudice. So without further ado, let's get started. So I've taken my hair out of the ponytail I was wearing and I'm giving myself a center parting. This is how my hair naturally falls and it's very useful for this look. So I'm just gonna brush all my hair out. My hair is very thick. It's like I'm wearing a curtain on my head sometimes. So I'm going to now take my comb and my and a hair tie and I'm going to section a piece of hair from my ear to from my hairline to my ear. So if you aim for a straight lot, sort of straight curvy line, that's good. I'm going to just pop this in my mouth and then I'm going to do the other side. I'm just going to put that back bit in a ponytail so I can just tie off this so it's out the way. Brushing back this back part is quite crucial because you need to do that in order to create the bun that's going to go at the top of your head. So with this bit out the way, we can let this bit out. I'm going to brush this a little more just so it can be as smooth as it possibly can be. And then you're going to get, get your thumbs and Divide a section of hair, probably about this much, so from about your ear to, to there. And then just keep brushing to raise it up. Then, once that's done, you are going to tie, you're just gonna twist it round, and you're going to create a bun. so it's nice and secure. I'm just gonna pop a couple of hair pins in just to make it nice and secure. So once you've done that, don't worry about um, this bit. I'm just gonna tie this bit off so it's 
out the way. So now you're just going to release these, this little bit, and at this point you're going to just take a tiny section from the front of your hood. So these two, two bits you're going to curl at, as the final step and what you're going to do with the bits you, that are down you're going to twist them and then plait them and then I'm going to wrap them around the bun that I've made. There was, um, I also applied a lot of hairpins and it's just quite useful to do that because you are doing, because it can be very, very fiddly and hairs don't often want to stay in the place that they are told to. So now you're going to get this bit of hair and you're going to actually do a plait. But what you want to do is to sort of bend, put your head down and so it, it, it goes upwards. Now that you've done that, you're going to you're going to need more pins and you're just gonna pin it in place. Really, you, you want to put it so, so that it's just going straight up in the bun. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the end bit and you're going to fold it under and just secure it into place with more, say, more pins. Okay, now that that's done, I am going to go and curl this, these bits, which are the final stages of the hair look. So I'm just going to pop on for a minute and I'll see you in a second. So as you can see, I've now curled my hair. I'm going to take just some more pins and just pin them up so that they're not in my face and getting in the way. So if you can, just pop the pins in in a way that Hopefully they won't be seen. You might need more than one. I'm just going to grab two more.
So here we go. This was a Jane Austen heroine inspired hair tutorial. I'll give you a little spin so you can see what it looks like from all the angles. And there we go. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've liked the video, please hit that like button. Please feel free to subscribe so you can get info on when my latest video is going to come out. And I'll see you next time with another one. Bye.